Hello guys, welcome back. We've been having fun. We kind of have done some tours today we had to do, but we've been really having fun. The irresponsible frat boy and me came out the last couple of days, because remember, I'm priestess of Dionysus, priestess, kind of. He wouldn't use a term of Asmodeus, so we've been having fun. And I got a paycheck, fuck yeah. So yeah, I got it last night. At first I freaked the fuck out, because I'm like, who the fuck is this? Everybody's staying at home, so somebody paid my hub page's paycheck in another way, and I was like, holy fucking shit! Somebody sent me money! And so I got my paycheck, so I got paid, so I'm happy. So we have just been celebrating in the way one does with Dionysus and Asmodeus. And their demons are just like, I don't know, man, I don't know. But we've been doing pretty good. Um, a lot of my orders, the the items either didn't ship. Like, the order I placed over a week ago, like, half the food shipped, and I got it, and half didn't. And they're saying, well, if you want, you can cancel the items. But I'm just going to wait on it, because they're going to restock. And I talked to Michael about it, and he <laughs> shut up, Loki. And he was like, why don't you wait and see how it plays out? The more you monkey around with it, the crazier it's going to be on your, you know, checking account. So we're just going to wait. And we're in high spirits, and Loki's been enjoying himself, too, and getting Loki time, and Odin's been getting Odin time. And it's just been... You know, one of the things I can tell you having chronic illness is you have to find a new normal and you have to find ways to keep busy, yet enjoy yourself and give yourself rewards that don't involve going outside. So, you know, you have to do it. And I had this last weird thing the last year or so that I get like really itchy in like the spring and summer and that if I go out and there's pollen outside, then I get itchy. I never had that in my entire life, but the last couple years have been going crazy. So my allergies are kind of having my back because I went out today just to enjoy the beautiful sunshine because again, it went up in the 70s, almost 80s, and it's going to plunge down into the 40s tonight and then it's going to stay cold for a while, a little bit at least. And you know, it's just been, we've been enjoying stuff. I swear to all the holy gods, I've heard crickets the last couple nights. I saw a big black ant running around. Um, it's It's been weird, right? The weather's been insane. And it looks like it won't be quite cold enough. But, like, you know, now it's in the 70s. Try to make it into the 80s. And in a couple of days, originally, they were calling for snow. So it's just like the weather is crazy anymore, right? But we've been enjoying that. We had really severe, I mean, so severe, I was glad we have fur fur in the family now, um, thunderstorms. I mean, it was shaking the house, and there was heat lightning, and, uh, you know, Odin and Loki were not letting me go out and play in that and record anything. Besides, um, if you have a really intense storm like that, it can fry your camera anyhow. Just so you know, if you're thinking of, oh, hey, look at this stuff, I'm going to become a storm hunter you can fry your camera. It can absolutely fry your camera. So it's something to think about. And I, when I've had, you know, the camera out in those storms and like the lightning and that comes, sometimes you don't see it on the film because the camera kind of like goes <clears throat> every time there's a lightning flash. So, you know, but life's been good. Um, We're really not seeing any video games. Really, I know you guys can only take so much nature footage and kind of restrict it now. So, you know, we're not going outside and like filming clouds or, you know, I was not allowed even near the windows last night. I mean, hell was just slamming into the house and everything else and thunder booming directly overhead. And I want to talk about you guys. Yeah, talk about you guys. <laughs> yeah, I talk about you all the time. I want to talk to you guys about something and I don't want any Christian viewers to take offense. Um, there was a Christian, obviously Christian, that came out with the statement that, um, God's doing all of this to hold us up to the light. And I thought, that's why nobody worships your God. Your God did this on purpose to help people like one another? How's that shit working out for him? Have you seen people lately? There's a lot of good in the world, but seriously, I was like, this is why nobody likes your God. No offense, Christians, but I'm like, really? What God would do that so that we would like each other? I'm like, have you seen what it's like out there? Your God did this on purpose? Holy fuck, I'm never entering a church again. 
And again, that's no offense to Christians, but I notice a lot of them are starting to pick up that theology that um, they're loving all-knowing, capable of anything, God has started this virus on purpose and is letting it play out to remind people to love one another. Could have, like, sent Cadbury eggs, Big Macs, Peeps, kittens, or some kind of shit. It, it was a, this really the best way to go? But, you know, you do you. I would rather listen to Dionysus and Asmodeus on love. <laughs> I'm getting giggles back here. Loki too. I'm getting Loki too. Loki too. No, no, no. <laughs> and, you know, just stay safe, guys. Stay sane. Try to make fun for yourself whatever way you do it. We we are, have been binging on that game that Asmodeus... Remember Asmodeus had wanted a game and I didn't want to get it for him because I was so worried about money at the time? I am so happy we got that. For me, $10 was all the money in the world at the time on that game, but we're 16 hours in and we still haven't finished this damn thing, and it is, <laughs> it is something else. <laughs> no, the way I'm laughing, you know, the kind of game, and I'm like, holy Jesus, I've been playing this thing for 16 hours. So we're having fun. You know, and, you know, there's just, there's nothing out there right now. I know a lot of people are breaking um, bands and they're going out and they're like, um, they're shooting where they shouldn't be shooting. And, you know, they've been having to do extreme measures to try to keep Instagram dumbasses away from stuff because that's how stuff spreads. But just be safe, you know, and I, I know this is going to sound heartless, but you can pray and cast all you want. But when you see people doing stupid stuff, um, you know, they're, they know the risk. They're, they're putting their own fate in their hands. Just, it's a shame they might take people with them, but, you know, they know the risk. They've got to be pretty damn stupid if they don't know the risk at this point. I'm not saying you don't feel bad for them, but I'm just saying, you know, be aware that at this point, people who are breaking any kind of lockdowns and that, not, and I mean, aside from, you know, having to go for food or having to go for emergency or go to work. I mean, people that are still doing Instagram bullshit are still trying to run their YouTube channel by running through shut down quarantine streets. Um, you're not the news media. Knock, knock it the fuck off. This is why we'll have to keep extending the lockdowns till everybody has military patrols outside their house. It's not going to come to that, but you know what I mean. I, 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 I just, it's like, you know, you get so mad because you see people putting everyone else at risk and, you know. But, you know, don't try to be a hero, especially now with social distancing and run out and try to stop them. Um, if people are going to be stupid and they're going to put themselves in harm's way, you can say prayers for them, cast whatever you want to do. But, you know, you're not a first responder. You're not a doctor. You're not wearing proper equipment. You're not, you know, you're not Superman. It's not your job to go out there and stop them. So, you know... I know that sounds heartless, but it's like you're you're seeing too many people not take it seriously and they're still doing stuff that they've been told. I mean, the entire United States have been told no gatherings over 10. I mean, obviously a workplace is probably going to have some kind of exception, but, you know, other than that, no weddings, no, no pickup games, no other stuff. Uh, it sounds heartless, but... You know, you don't have to run out there and put yourself in harm's way. I, I know that sounds dreadful. It is going to pass, guys. It is going to pass. But do I believe an all-knowing, all-loving God gave this to us on purpose so that we'd learn to love each other? No. You're, you're seeing who the selfish people are. You're seeing the people that will not only put themselves at risk, but everyone else, too. So I, I wanted to actually say that for days. So I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm not... You guys know I'm not even remotely Christian. And, you know, especially if you work with the old man, he'll just tell you to keep... You know, you mind your own business and they'll hopefully mind theirs. So, you know, um, you don't have to narc on people if you feel wrong, if you feel kind of sorry for them. But you also don't have to go join them. So if, I hope to the gods if you're getting you know, invitations to break car fuse or stuff like that. You just can't do it, guys. Um, cops are out in a lot of areas. They're talking about having the military out in some areas. So, you know, stay safe, stay sane. It's going to be a couple weeks, maybe a couple months. Then we'll be getting back to normal. Just, you know, nobody do anything stupid and we'll get all this faster. So. <laughs> So, I know, this is a channel inspirational advice, but, you know, don't be stupid. Don't take any risks. You don't have to. So, and that's partially why I'm not going out and filming. If I don't have to legitimately be out there to film or, you know, pick up my mail or 
hopefully grocery order, uh, I'm not going to be out there. I'm not going to do it right now. So if you guys like what you see, like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.